sex canceled stories. According to Reddit, or as I like to say, intercourse interrupted incidents. Number 19. It was a one night stand with a single mom. The baby shared the room, was sleeping in the same room in a crib, couldn't see us I suppose. It made me super uncomfortable, but she was insistent. I was just going through the motions, try that again. <laughs> I was just going through the motions since she and the situation wasn't doing anything for me. Mid-sex, she says, Can we just stop? You're not really my type. I was so relieved that I broke out into a huge smile and said something like, Oh, thank God. You're not my type either. I just didn't want to be rude. Well, since that's not a problem anymore, I'm out. And in more ways than one, he was out. Do you see what I did there? For those uninitiated, the act of intercourse typically involves penetration. For intercourse to stop, one would have to Pop out, plop out, take a da cock out. As we continue up this list, I will let everybody know that my intention was to start at number 20, but it was so vile, so gross, that I couldn't do it. And no, I normally don't read these entries, but I always skim the first one a little bit to make sure that it's just not, you know, expletive explosion so that YouTube's just like, oh my god, this guy's at it again. But the reality is, this guy is at it again. But I do it for you. Number 18. I realized she looked like a cousin. I just couldn't keep going. You know, depending on some places, you know, where people live. <laughs> this would just enhance the experience. Roll tad. That's right, boy. Well, well. A response to this somehow reads, There was a girl once who was very obviously trying to hook up with me, and I probably would have been down but she looked way too much like my sister for me to even consider that. It's a weird situation to be in. Wait a minute, y'all running into people that look like your siblings? Wait a minute. Y'all don't have unique enough genes to be not looking like each other? I don't want to make any racial comments, but god damn. You running into somebody that look like you? What the fuck? seems kind of weird it seems kind of weird a special hello to Linda to Lane to Ariana to homeless Josh and J Max sweet home Alabama big wheels keep on to big wheels keep on Number 17. I was going down on a former girlfriend years ago and I was really drunk. Well, the room started spinning. She got that crazy pussy. Sent you into vertigo. Can't stop spinning at the speed of sound. Pussy don't know where to begin. <laughs> the room starts spinning, and to the toilet I went. The poor girl thought it was her. I reassured her that it was not. I just mixed too much alcohol. Ah, the old excuse. 
Oh, I'm too drunk to eat you out. Gotta go to bathroom, vomit it out. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. And in the bathroom, you like, oh god, that pussy was nasty. What the fuck? This girl need to wash. She need to wash her crease. Oh girl, you better wash. What the hell? So we continue up this list. We arrive at number 16. Me and a girl were making out in high school in the bathroom. She gets on her knees and pulls my pants down. She starts giving me a blow job. She's sticking it in her mouth and doing nothing. She just kept it in there. No head movement, no sucking, nothing. I told her, let's get back to class. And we walked out without a word. Is this how a blowjob works? No. The answer is no. Good effort, though. Number 15. If I had an ex say her last boyfriend's name in the middle of the act, I wasn't even insulted because I knew she was a drama queen and the way that she said it was so over the top. Oh my god, ex's name. You're so amazing, never stop. In a way that no real human speaks outside of a movie. I wouldn't have been mad if it had been an accident. Mistakes do happen. But the fact that she was doing it intentionally so she could have a dramatic scene straight out of the notebook or something. Oh boy. It's really crazy. Some girls don't even know that they're telegraphing that they're just hot garbage and you need to just take them out to the curb. You know, you got to bag them up. You got to make sure it's sealed. You don't want to have flies. You need to take that shit outside. Put it in the proper receptacle for the trash and hope that they come and they pick it up at the scheduled time. What is the deal with ex-girlfriends? Oh, you're starting to stink the place up. You know why they call them ex-girlfriends? Because you just want to chop your dick off instead of fucking dealing with them again unless you're lazy, in which case... <laughs> but there are other coom receptacles in the world. Just because you've been there doesn't mean you need to do that again. I'm sorry. As we continue up this list, we arrive at number 14. The guy kept asking if he could remove the condom. But I'm clean. I've been tested like two weeks ago. You can trust me. You're yeah, right. After maybe the sixth or seventh time, I just got pissed and I got up and left. Look at your bitch ass begging. Can I please take off the condom, please? Can I take it off, please? Let me take off the condom, please? Please? Let me take it off, please? Please, <laughs> uh, you're a man, you're a man whining. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I have a little bit of fun with the voiceover. Sapphire says, "Oh, Kyle. Of course, I had to walk in on Kyle splatting, but that's okay." As long as he doesn't get it in my hair. So we continue up this list. We arrive. At number 13. Lucky. Number 13. The girl started slapping the shit out of me. 
She just slapped me so hard, she slapped me soft, strumming my pain with her fingers. Slapping me so hard, I got soft. One time, sorry. Like, you can't ask me first? I could have told you no and saved us some time. Erection plus slaps equals soft pee-pee. Damn. How can she slap, okay? Yo, is, did somebody say that? Nobody, nobody said it, but there's another one. A response here says, okay, I came here for something like this. I got to tell my story now. So I used to work at a bar, and this girl would come in every weekend just to sit and hang out. She'd wear these low-cut tops, and you could see how full and delicious her titty meat was. Sometimes her skin was just so nice and clear, you could almost see the vein in that bitch. It was a fat titty, and all I'd ever want is for her to just whip it out. Sometimes she'd catch me staring, and she was totally fine with it, and you just knew she was good to go. Oh my god. So one Friday I ask if uh, she want to go out, you know. <sighs> Sorry, I, I auto-corrected because I'm good at that. But it, it, it's written. So one Friday I ask he if she wanted to go out. We live in a brave new world. A brave new world. Maybe the world is too brave and new for me, you know? Because I like my woman baby able to have baby. You know what me mean? You know what Kyle mean? Canceled! You can't say that, Kyle. Brooms are women too. So one day, I ask her out or some shit. You know, whatever. Because I had the night off and I was trying to get off. Damn, he's so quick with that. Fast forward to the next day. We're drinking, having a good time. We decide to go back to my apt. Okay? And have some wine. Mmm. A box of wine. I'm kidding. So naturally, we skip the wine. And we're making out. We're on the bed. I'm on top. And we're naked. And I think things are going swimmingly. And then wham! She smacks me in the face. I pause and I look at her and in my head I'm like, okay, what the fuck was that? But then, we just start making out again. And sure enough, wham, she smacks me from the other side. And I just go, okay, stop doing that. And she says, why? Why don't you try hitting me back? Never have I ever asked someone to leave so quickly in my life. Never called her again and she never came back to the bar. I want you to hit me, Kyle. I just want you to smack me. Oh, stick it in. Choke me. Let me be your sin, Kyle. Hello, Nicholas Thorne. It's been a while seeing you. I hope that you're okay. I hope that things are well. I'm glad that you've survived this year or two of hell. Damn. Sometimes I wonder if certain days may be my last, and I try to do these so frequently that me being gone for multiple weeks, I guess you guys would know something's wrong. Mm. But life, the show, it must go on. Number 12. It was after a date. We went back to his place. Foreplay had been going on. It's nice. And we're continuing on to sex. He tried going in without a condom. I stopped him and asked him what he thought he was doing. He stared at me super confused and was like, Um, don't you want to have sex? I pointed out the lack of condom. And he said it was fine. You know, it's fine without a condom. I told him it wasn't happening without a condom. He said he didn't have anything laying around, and I told him I had some in my purse. And if he didn't like the brand or whatever, then he could quickly pop off to the store and get some. He said it's killing the mood. So I told him not to worry about the mood, got halfway dressed, and left. 
When I saw, uh, when I was a few blocks away from his house, I finished getting dressed, went to the store, picked up a magazine, bought a face mask and some stuff for a bubble bath. Turns out, it was a pretty nice night when I got home. Damn, now that's a powerful sister. Don't let men try to make it seem like you're power tripping for wanting them to wrap it up. Motherfucker, it ain't just about cleanliness. Why the hell you want some dude splashing his baby batter all up inside you if you don't like him like that and you just looking for a little bit of intimacy? What the fuck? Splashing his gooky juice all up in your cookie crease. Talking about the monkey muse. Stippling on my fibble fresh. You got me on the king kim pup pup sibidim tipple time. But not this day. Not this night. What if you ain't on even on birth control? You know what I mean? And this dude out here talking about, oh yeah, let me just copy that person here. Don't bring that. Oh, get the fuck out of here. What kind of dolphin ass bullshit is that? That's what I'm saying, my man. That's what I'm saying. Some dudes out here don't even know that they are like 98% rapist. Bitch, 2% ain't even that much. You might as well just be. What you mean it ain't a big deal, I'm clean. Please, please, just let me come and please, let me take it off, please. You <laughs> Number 11. Yep, my boyfriend said that he felt something hit his back like it dropped and hit hard and moved. So we stopped and I checked and nothing was there. So we continued. About a minute or so later, I had my hand on my boyfriend's shoulder and I feel something move on my hand. I looked and a huge house spider comes running over onto my face. I screamed. My boyfriend looks and he sees the spider, slaps it off my face, and the pair of us get up and nope ourselves out of the room, throwing clothes on as we go. Damn eight legs ruined our evening. Ladies and gentlemen, how big can a house spider get? Where y'all niggas living? Australia? You took the humor right out of this fucking list with this scary ass bullshit. What you mean a house spider? Like it's just supposed to be in a house? Y'all got me fucked up. Because I'm going to the store and I'm going to find the most poisonous spray I can find. I don't care how many flies or little insects you're killing, my dude. Get the fuck out of here. What? What? I don't even want to show this. What if somebody has arachnophobia? I'm thinking about you and your big titties. You see what I'm saying? <sighs> it sends a shiver down my spine. It sends a shiver down my spine. <sighs> It's not cool. It's too big. It's too big. It's too big. It's too big. And I hate to say what girls say to me. You know what I'm talking about? I did it. I said it. Boom. Quick moths. Every day, man's on the block. Smoke trees. Scrap. Did a boom, boom, boom. Oh, God. No! Yo, imagine if somebody had arachnophobia and they were... You can look back at the screen if you were looking away from the screen and you were wondering when you can look back. I'm sorry for pulling that up if you have arachnophobia, you know? But you're you're wonderful. You're sweet, and I apologize. This entry was a... Uh, it's not what anybody wanted. It's not what anybody needed. But it was a port of the sex canceled stories list brought to you by me wow that's right kyle mm. you're welcome yeah links in the description you know you know show your support okay yeah smoke weed every day so we continue up to the next entry number 10 reads he started strangling me this person actually deleted their fucking shit. I wonder if it was just like a throwaway thing. He strangled me. I told him I didn't like that, and he said that he would stop. But his hands kept creeping up onto my neck. Flipping terrified me. 
I wasn't sure what he would do if I stopped and tried to leave halfway through, but I sure as hell got out of there as fast as I could. So you actually, like, stayed and completed the act. That is really sad and disgusting. Like, you were actually... That, that might as well have just been non-consensual, but you were going along with it. And maybe that's why some people choke people without asking them beforehand, because they're trying to manifest a non-consensual scenario because that'll help them get their rocks off. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's fucked up, but some of y'all girls don't even understand that that's the kind of dice you're rolling when you get into it with a, a man who is stronger than you and you're putting yourself in an intimate situation with somebody that you could potentially not really know. You know, you're their plaything, quite literally. You're their rag doll. You're my rag doll. Do you get what I'm saying? And if you don't know me well enough, you're playing with fire. Really fucked up. Now, the most interesting part of this entry to a guy like Kyle is the fact that they, you know, made an account and then deleted it for the sake of making this post. You have to ask yourself, why would a person do that? What if they're a person whose account that they use for main is something that somebody knows? Meaning, potentially it's a woman and she has a main account that maybe her boyfriend or her husband is aware of, but she can't talk about sexual escapades, you know? Especially not if it happened recently, which it probably did. Why otherwise would you make an account to just tell this story? You could have just claimed, oh, it's this happened years ago. But nah, they made a new account so that this wouldn't be associated with their main account. Who's making a post? Who's making a, a, an account just for this one post? Strange. Captain Flintlock says, hey, how's Outriders? Well, if you must know, Kyle, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't let them bait you into video game bullshit like the nerds that they are. In the middle of you streaming, you're a galactic man, a sensual man. A beautiful, big dick, girthy human being. Oh my god. Sorry to interrupt. Money mouth face. That's so hot, Chase. I appreciate you. I, I, I thank you. That's beautiful. You're kind. You're incredible. I appreciate this donation in a way that I can't even properly articulate. And I just went, oh my god, it's Outriders. I'm so, I'm so, so, wait, oh my god. Okay, sorry about that. I do want to remind everybody that um, if you can use Streamlabs, you should. Not that you shouldn't super chat because I know it's convenient, but remember, YouTube will take 30% of a super chat. So if you uh, donate $100, they're taking 30 of that shit. Crazy, right? YouTube don't give a fuck. You understand? That's a pretty scary chunk, isn't it? Isn't it, bro? But yes, I love and appreciate you. Thank you for that donation. You've gone above and beyond. And it will be reinvested into this channel because, you know, you're what it's all about. Sometimes people put their left foot in and then take their left foot out and put their left foot in and, and shake it all about. But I don't do the hokey pokey or turn myself about. I like to be interrupted in the middle of uh, what the hell are you doing? Get this thing off the screen. bitch as we continue up this list we arrive at number nine damn chase i really don't know how to express my gratitude for the chase tell me how to chase your heart or to chase the incredibly potent alcoholic incredible nature of you you know tell me what 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 coke or or pepsi or or sprite that you might like to accompany you do you see what i did there I'm kidding. My point is, sorry to be so stupid. Um, I'm saying if there's something that you'd be looking for or a topic or, you know, a list or, um, you know, you want some scary stories or maybe you have something specific that you'd like me to read or you just want a game for me to play or some shit like that. Let me know. But we can go from there. Number nine on this list. 
This wasn't the guy's fault. I was bouncing on his dick and I accidentally bit my bottom lip really hard when I bounced. I started bleeding profusely onto his chest and down my chin. We both stopped and ran to the bathroom and Kyle has to add that this might be some people's fetish. Oh yeah, shake your head so the blood gets everywhere. <laughs> Damn Lou, it looks like a crime scene in here. Oh, it's just blood sports, Jim. That's how they like it. It's a, it's a crazy world. It's a crazy world, Jim. Wait, I'm Jim. Wait, are you Jim? Yeah, you're Lou. Okay. It's a crazy world. <laughs> That's how crazy the world is. We don't even know each other's names sometimes. You ever see so much blood, you just forget. Like, fuck, I don't know. What's my name? Where am I? Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> you gotta stop. Oh, Chase, I thank you. You're incredible. Let me know. Let me know. Nicholas says, I have arachnophobia, the crippling one. I usually rewatch all of your videos, but after the stream, I will never rewatch it. That makes me feel like I need to do something killer, something kick ass that makes this stream explosively rewatchable. Rewatchable. Hmm, what am I gonna do to make the stream rewatchable with my dick out? No, I can't do that. It's not that kind of platform. <laughs> Chase says, it's cool. I really don't have anything in mind at the moment. Well, I'll keep streaming and when you think of something, let me know and we'll go from there. Number eight on this list of interrupted intercourse incidents. I went to see a girl. It was long distance. We had been on a few dates. She had invited me to her best friend's birthday party. She insisted I drive down and attend. Party ended with me and the girl in bed having smexy time. Ugh. It has been over 10 years since I've seen that disgusting. I took her to the edge of the bed and stood up. Mid-pump, all the alcohol decided it did not like being mixed. I ran to the bathroom, her bathroom, vomited everywhere. I tried get it in into the bathtub, that did not work, and I ended up all around the toilet, just a, a mess. Pretty sure I fell asleep in there. I woke up in the bed and her drinking coffee in the living room. I apologized, said that I'd clean up the mess, that it wasn't her, it was the alcohol. She said she already cleaned it up and relayed the night after I abruptly left. She came in after I passed out, carried me to the bed, and then began cleaning the bathroom. She, she noted she didn't want her housemates to find me naked in the bathroom with vomit everywhere. She said that I missed every possible place to vomit. She understood it was not her and then offered me some water and crackers. I married this girl and we have two amazing kids and it's been 10 years. I'm such a lucky guy. Whatever works for you asswipes. You think your stories of being sloppy fucking human beings is cute? Get a fucking grip. You're a mess, literally and figuratively, and she 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 tolerated your bitch ass? That's the story of half of our lives. Is that we're just men fatter than we're so, fu so fucking supposed to be, and these women come along with their hot fucking faces big ass titties just like pointlessly attractive and sweet and kind and compassionate personalities and they tolerate us at our worst you know and the puns the jokes the memes come from all of these well if you can't handle me at my because some sluts are incorrigible they're insufferable they're just unbearable but men we're really just the nastiest, slimiest, sickest bastards of them all. And some girl comes along, attaches themselves to us, and with their like arms like wrapped around it, they're like, uh, what's going with you? Uh, you're weird. Uh, oh my God, what, is, what a nasty guy, you're so weird. And, and we're just like, okay, all right. Every day I get closer to comic book nerd. And every day I ask myself, how can I get closer to something I already am? But it happens. It's like I become a comic book nerd inside another comic book nerd. I'm becoming a Christopher Nolan movie. Do you like these things that I say? Do you like these fucking things that I say? Is that what you like? You want to watch a video where a guy goes crazy slowly? 
slowly bitch that's the wrong word okay yeah <sighs> captain flintlock says have you tried borderlands 3 before you know i've been playing video games for like for like 27 years homie you think i'm like some little kid in here you can't name a game that i probably haven't tried or an iteration of a game that i haven't already experienced Borderlands 3 was so boring and even though it's a PvE game they were nerfing the hell out of people's builds that was when I was done with Borderlands 3 I gave that game more attention than it deserved the beauty of Kyle's channel is it's so properly whitelisted that even with the names of some of the fucking videos that I've made you wouldn't be able to find it isn't that wonderful allow me to look up a Borderlands video right now for you and I'll play it for you Kyle come, come with me and you'll, you'll be in a world of pure imagination take a look and you'll see into your imagination yeah maybe I didn't just play it maybe I beat the shit out of this fucking game maybe I broke the shit out of this game maybe that's what comes natural to the type of gamer that Kyle was. This glitch was something I shared nice and hard. All deep in people's creases, baby. They couldn't handle it. Hmm. But most people can't handle me. The girth, you see. Don't want to cause the bleeding. As we continue off this list, we arrive at number seven. My now ex-boyfriend had put some chicken nuggets in the oven. If you would like to contribute to my chicken nugget fund, my chicken nuggers, then, uh, you know, the liggity link is in the description description. Damn, baby. Mama said knock you out. My ex-boyfriend had put some chicken nuggets in the oven while I was napping. He comes upstairs to wake me up. We started making out. One thing led to another. The timer for the nuggets goes off. I was almost there. This bitch just pulls right out and gets dressed to get the nuggets out. He left me very horny and frustrated for the rest of the day. A funny situation, but you bet I teased the hell out of him for it later. The chicken nuggets. What, we gonna burn the chicken nuggets? This must have been in an age before an air fryer. <laughs> you poor humans. Do you not know the splendor, the magic? A Klingon does not use non-air fryer accessories to make my chicken nuggets. But the prime directive, a Klingon must have his chicken nugger. French fried, swear, potato. Number six. Oh no, I realize that I am not just a jackass, that I'm unfortunately entertaining. That's a problem. You know, I should have done something with this. I should have done anything with my life. <laughs> Instead, you know, what have, I, what have I done? What do I have to look at? What do I have to mix up? Number six. I actually did walk out. I was hooking up with this guy and... No. Maybe that's what you wanted it to be in your heart, Kyle. You wanted it to be man banging. Man banging. Outriders is tight on Xbox, son. Bitch, Outriders is tight on everything. But I'm trying to play it with Dia. And if I can't play it, because I don't have any friends. You see what I mean? It's just Dia. Me and Dia forever. Me and Dia in the heat of the night. <laughs> Look how ugly I look. I love it. So, um, you know, me and this girl, we're hooking it up. She says something about her boyfriend while we are undressing each other and making out. I explain I don't need to be murdered in some bullshit cheating scenario. And she explains to it's her ex-boyfriend. So it's back on, baby. We're going at it for a few minutes and I'm lining up for the landing. And she says, I'm going to turn on my flip so I can send him a video. What the fuck? instantly flaccid and I let myself out explaining that I'm not getting shot why do these hoes have to include people in they fucking scenarios bro and where are all the the fem cucks 
What what happened to all the women that want to watch their man banging another girl? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Read up the gift to get to that door. I need a femme cock a long time ago. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, bro. You get through these lists so much faster. If your dick were smaller, but it's so big. Oh, baby, so big. Oh, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Like, oh, we can't, we can't function. We can't navigate. Oh, it's in the way. You know, I'm trying to go about my day, but I can't think about what are we supposed to do? Okay, yeah. Oh, I was trying to write a ton of paper. What is this accent you're doing? You're, you're making this really bad with that accent. You know, it's not offensive. Y'all don't know where it's supposed to come from. So you would be the racist one to decide, oh, that is a blank accent. And that's what makes it racist. It's just a voice. It's a silly voice. I'm a voiceover artist. It's a silly voice. And that's that's it. That's all it needs to be. That's all it needs to be. Bye bye. Have fun with English. Y'all can't talk like this. Would you want to talk like this? Would you want me to think you're some kind of fool? <laughs> Look, man. You don't want to be as crazy as me. Try and get crazy as me. So, she suddenly, look, I'm short-circuiting because I can really make myself laugh, and that's a problem. You guys would probably kill for this kind of gift. It's like a monkey paw wish, though. Man, I wish I could laugh. You can laugh, but you'll only ever be able to make yourself laugh. You'll see things on television. You'll see things in movies. They will not be funny, but you'll be able to enhance them in ways that will make them funny. But is it really an enhancement, or is it just an enhancement to you? The year is 2027. The androids have claimed the Southern Pacific. And then the Inspector Gadget music starts playing. Oh shit! It's the Inspector Gadget! It's like jazzy. Go, gadget, go. Why was that? Why was that theme so fucking hot fire? Did it have any business being dope like that? Inspector gadget theme. How dare you? How dare you be the freshest fucking? Listen, we have a list to finish, and I'm not going to let you sway me with this kind of stupid bullshit. Chase says, Kyle, did you see the Godvilla? 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 Man, these are some really nice uh, villas. This is a nice area. Okay, Godzilla versus King Kong. No, I can't front. I wouldn't lie to you. I don't know shit about Godzilla or King Kong. So watching those movies, I'd just be like, okay, that's that's cool. When he's so big and then he go against the other guy, he big too. They both big and they come and they go. Arr. See, I used to think I was a bitch for liking movies like Civil War, where it's really always like, for real, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like somebody dumping out their fucking toys. And then just having like a proper clash, you know, but I'm not I'm not an ass for liking stuff like this, bro. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Schlock. Sure. Garbage to a woman with big boobs, but it's cool to me. You know what I did see was that new Black Widow trailer. And um. You know what I, you know, I got chills. I got a little music boner at the end of that. When, uh, when you hear the choir, let me just turn the music down a little bit. Let you hear this bullshit really quickly. Ooh, I just like it. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. You know, I like that. Damn. Oh. You know, the Winter Soldier is my favorite Marvel movie anyway. So that's what they needed to be going for. Some of them, uh, some of them Winter Soldier vibes. It's crazy. I haven't even started watching uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm not interested. Maybe I'll watch it when it's all done. 
It's not that I'm not interested in the show as a whole. I just don't want to do the week to week bullshit like I did with WandaVision. WandaVision blue balls me, you know? Imagine just having a hard cock for a couple of weeks and then at the end realizing you are not going to get finished. You can finish yourself off, but, you know, this show isn't going to do it for you. And then worse, the post credit scene that could have set up some sort of uh, multiverse of madness thing. You could have had Doctor Strange show up. You could have had Mr. Fantastic or any kind of real cameo because everybody was hoping for a Luke Skywalker type moment. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, some big fucking oh shit. But no, what we got was some fuck boy. Oh, someone would like to have a word with you. You mean you couldn't even get Fury in the fucking end cut cut scene? That's stupid. That's stupid. You could have had, ugh, ugh, it's lazy, it's whack, and it was terrible. I don't care about Captain Marvel fucking too, bro. The first one was already an abortion that people were tricked into seeing because they thought it was pertinent to Endgame. Ridiculous. Ugh. Even as a guy that just wants to enjoy a bunch of superheroes smashing themselves up, can't enjoy things because they're making it too complicated. They're making things too woke. You know? And I said it before, I'll say it again. At the end of the day, I recognize from a uh, marketing perspective, Multiverse of Madness don't need no motherfucking press. People go, people want to see the shit out of that already. Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch, sign me to fuck up, you know? Just like they don't ad need to advertise no Spider-Man 3. People will, people will blow their load, you know, and do cartwheels all the way to the movie theater. But they do need to market Captain Marvel too. Because people are like, ugh, whatever. Look, it's gonna have a black lady next time. Look at it. Look at it. Please come see the movie. Ugh, come see the movie. Number five. We hadn't gotten very far, but I quickly moved down while she quickly moved up. And I broke my nose on her pelvis bone. I broke my nose on her pelvis bone. Her pelvic or pelvis Oh, thank you very much. Pelvis. Mmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Devonta Kyles. Thank you for the uh, subscription. Nicholas says, any tips on Hunipop? I haven't even broken into the second one, so, you know, I can't, I can't tell you that I have any tips. Match the stuff. <laughs> you still love Hunipop, man. You still love it. So I broke my nose while I was going down on the girl. She suddenly flipped and absolutely just fucked out. She she screamed about ruining her the night, not not just hers, but our. She I ruined our night. Blood was gushing from my nose. Mind you, this was like the second date. She continued to yell about how I needed to fix this. And I just cleaned myself up the best I could and went home. What do you mean fix this bitch? What's wrong with you? fucking freak ho you broke you broke my nose while i'm trying to eat you out bitch the fuck i'm trying to do you a favor and you bust my shit up was i've ruined our night please how are some women just so monstrous and it's because they so they they hot it's hot they hot enough to know that there's just a there's a line for them already it's a bit and and the internet's only making it worse for some of these hoes but they'll get everything that they need, I guess. Number four, he was my first Tinder hookup and kept trying to convince me that we shouldn't use a condom. Please, please just let me take it off, please. He couldn't come with one on. Oh, I can't coom. In my naivete, no, please. You're letting him come off? I didn't leave immediately, but he instead listed some options that didn't involve his condomless penis. Good, I'm glad that you didn't allow him to take off the condom, okay? But we, we explored ways to make him coom. Oh, damn. Gajil says, Hi, Kyle. Just wanted to ask what you know. Do... Do think. Hi, CYAL. Just wanted to ask, do you think that free DLC ruins a game just like Marvel Avengers? We're the game's devs don't have to work so hard because it's free. Rather than a paid DLC like Spider-Man PS4, which had effort put in. I think this is a, an adorable question. 
thank you for your contribution. I mean no disrespect with what I'm going to say, but you know I'm a real dude and I'll talk to you like a real human as opposed to somebody that's like, you know, blowing smoke up your ass or sucking your farts out or some bullshit like this. I'm going to let you know um, whether or not the DLC is free or paid does not in any way affect the quality of the DLC. Take it from niggas like Jesus and I. We watched Destiny's first DLC that they were asking everybody to pay for. Just be a motherfucking joke. Destiny, Destiny bust the dark below. Jesus, you remember the dark below? Imagine if a DLC was just a bunch of stickers. That would have been better than what people got. Paid DLC is trash all the time. It does not speak to the quality of what they're releasing. Marvel's Avengers is a bad game for a variety of outstanding and unbelievably crippling reasons. Each reason somehow more shocking than the last. Okay? Two villains in a Marvel game, bro. You took seven months to dump two archers. This is a superhero game. And any and everybody in the world, if you were to ask them what's their favorite superhero, you would never, ever, ever, in any percentage of the people that you have polled, get Kate fucking Bishop. Kamala fucking Khan or the Archer. This is a power fantasy game and you have just dropped the ball monumentally. Bugs aside, all this bullshit aside, it ain't the fact that it's free because again, they launched the game with a model where they intended to get money for uh, via microtransactions for skins, but they've decided to make all of the skins ugly, asset flips, almost comic book skins, but not really. No MCU skins because they couldn't be bothered. Do you know what I mean? It's it's what we call fucked up from the flow up. That's all we need to say about Marvel's Avengers. And that there are going to be other games in the future with free DLC that is monumentally incredible. Do I need to bring up Ghost of Tsushima? Do you want me to write an article or, you know, like an essay on, on how many other games contradict the, the idea of free DLC needing to be a bucket of shit. Ghost of Tsushima didn't owe anybody a raid. But it has one. It has a multiplayer mode for its phenomenal fucking game. And that's all I need to say. That's all I have to say. It's a shame, really. But it is it is quite the spectacle to behold. And as I've made clear in yesterday's passionate little thing that I had with Dia, God bless her, putting up with my nonsense, but I do not believe that that studio has a future when they have literally just fucking stabbed themselves and just made the organs come splashing out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's unbelievable. Holy shit. Chase, damn. We're going to need to call this dude the Chase Bank. You like that really original comment that I just made? You know, that surface level, immediate, quick thought, you know, word association joke reference that I made? Jesus, I'm the worst. I shall not be removed. At least not this stream. I shall not be removed. He's got like a staff like Gandalf. Who are you and how dare you? Thank you, Chase. You're hardcore, you're amazing, you deserve better than I can give. But if you were a woman, you know, I would let you know that you're special and you're going to find whatever you want to find, however you want to find it. You know what? Doesn't matter if you're a woman. You're going to find that specialness, even if you think you've already found it. Wrong. Wrong. Whoever you're with now, you think that's the one? Psh, wrong. And in the future, you'll know that I'm real and true. And what I speak is the truthy time. Mm-hmm. To continue, forgive me, he was my first Tinder hookup and he kept trying to convince me that we shouldn't use a condom because he couldn't coom. So I, I hope that we could explore options that did not include his condomless pee pee in my vaggy vag, but couldn't, you know, it could still potentially allow him to coom. He refused all of them and then tried to sneakily take off the condom without me noticing. That was my deal breaker. Disgusting. Fuck you. And then I said, I need to leave. I calmly dressed, collected my things while he climbed under his covers and pouted. I blocked his number as soon as I was in my car. What a fucking child. 
What a child trying to sneak a condom off. That's sexual assault. It should be. It should be, um, you know, considered, you know, struggle snuggling. And you should be able to, to press charges. You should be able to press charges. Fuck a person like this. Are you kidding me? What a piece of shit. True Silver Wolf, all these super chats and no Streamlabs donations. Y'all giving Google money. Hey, I understand that for some people it is, um, you know, convenient. And I appreciate what they're doing and how they're doing it. But yes, do not let it be, you know, understated that Google does seem to be taking a, a large cut. 30%'s a lot, you know? 30%'s a lot. That ain't shit. They don't need that kind of con that fee for what they're allowing. It's, it's scary that they're demanding something like that. They rich as fuck, and instead of making a site better, instead of giving people more options and more opportunities, like, what if I just wanted to run, not an X-rated channel with titties and dicks flopping all over the place, but just, you know, something adult. Because what, what we're doing is talking, and I'm reading, and this is, you know, what people are interested in. It'd be one thing if I didn't have an audience, and they're going, you degenerate, someone please look at the children. Am I running a fucking kid's channel? God damn, this site, kill him, hey. Number three old girlfriend i was under and noticed a metallic taste Ugh. it was dark but i wiped my face and my fingers were red my dumbass asked if it was that time of the month and she said no so i scoot to the bathroom and it looks like i'm painted for clown school i get all cleaned up but i couldn't figure it out then it hit me nosebleed so I go back to my room, explain, she's crying because she didn't know what was going on. I calm her down and she goes to shower. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. He got a nosebleed while he did her out, that's adorable. Like, what is this, an anime? What is this, an anime? Oh boy. Ninja said, well, at least it's not 50 like Twitch. There's no way Twitch is taking 50% of donations. There's no way. People wouldn't use Twitch if it was that high. <clears throat> How much does Twitch take from donations? Um, ba -ba -ba. 100% goes to the streamer, it says. For affiliates... They earn 50% of each sub. The donations go fully. But the uh, for the affiliates, Twitch takes 50% of the money that goes to a subscriber. Partners keep 70%. But this deal apparently varies from streamer to streamer. <laughs> Twitch running a funny game over there, bro. <laughs> That's a funny situation. Twitch is just a site for big titty bitches at this point. People trying to make it on Twitch are fooling themselves. Especially if they're like boring, you know. I'm more entertaining than most of the people really trying to make it on Twitch. And that's crazy, you know. That's crazy. That's not good. But they trying to make it to the top by whatever means necessary. The championship for whitest boy. I am the whitest boy. No me. I am the whitest boy. Behold my DX racer chair and my monster energy drink. Mm -hmm. Game fuel. <laughs> my gosh. Number two, okay? This happened to me. Girl started crying and then left. Zero explanation. Obviously left me feeling pretty shitty, like a rapist or something. Even though she had been the one to initiate the sex. My friend managed to cheer me up, though. I was telling him about it on the phone and he replied with, well, to be fair, man, if you stuck your penis in me, I would run home crying as well. Uh huh. Someone responds with, I had a friend that I wound up hooking up with years ago that ended up crying too. Apparently, I was a rebound, and she was super not over her ex. 
Was this after you finished or did you stop in the middle? It's like a sex interrupted list, so I'm guessing they stopped in the middle. Because like if she just started crying, that might make, you know, enhance it, you know what I'm talking about? I'm kidding, Kyle is just telling a joke, god damn. You know, the edgier the joke sometimes, the harder it hits, but it's not going to work for everybody. You know, some guys are going to be like, oh shit, you can't say that, bro. But other girls are going to be like, that is fucking disgusting, are you implying? That it's some, oh, oh, this is, oh, it's going to make it better for you? It's going to make it better for you? In some circles, you reacting like that is, is even funnier. Sh sh calm the fuck down, it's just a bad joke. It's a joke in poor taste. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was at least aware beforehand that she was recently out of a relationship, but I definitely got the impression that it was more of a, okay, I'm single now, we can hook up, rather than a, I'm very lonely and unhappy, please just fill my hole, fill my slit, in and out of my slit now, in and out of my slit, mm -mm -mm -mm, penetration, baby. As we continue to the end of this list, this is number one, I did walk out, she bit my nipple so hard that it bled and called me a pussy when I complained about it. Oh, I just nearly bit your nipple off. What's the big deal? It will heal. It will heal. Your nipple will heal. Stop being a baby. Oh, what a baby. You call me baby? You make my lover. I'm not sure that this runs well when I try to switch stream is the problem. You know, it looks glorious, it looks beautiful, it does its thing. But, you know, when I'm trying to stream, we got a problem sometimes. Maybe that's crazy, maybe that's weird. This stream is over. How are you guys feeling? What's on your mind? Is there anything you'd like to bring to my attention? You know, what, what do you want to pick my brain about? I'm sure like four of you have very specific and interesting questions about things of the uh, gingerbread variety, you know. I'm not really playing Outriders yet, specifically because Dia and I... Um, somebody needs to tell me how to turn off the Steam notifications that sometimes pop up in the game. I notice dramatic spikes and lag and all kind of bullshit when I try to play this game, and it truly sucks, but it's exclusively because of Steam and its interface aids, you know what I mean? It's truly a problem. I'm trying to look sexy in this game, but you know, to do that, you need good gear and you need to be high level. I'm not any of those. So what I've been doing is just kind of grinding the same area in the hopes that things will make sense. Pretty crazy. But everybody's loving the hell out of Outriders right now. And that's, oh shit, you know, I'm gonna go this way. Am I bleeding? You guys make me bleed now? God damn, you see the bleed just coming? Oh shit, fuck, oh fuck. Damn, bitch, you better calm down. Oh, shit, they're coming out of the walls. They're coming out of the walls. <laughs> I love this portion of the game. Yeah, chase me, baby. KO Ken times 10! <laughs> okay. Okay, no more KO Ken. No more KO Ken. They can't handle it. Jeez, jeez. Oh, fucking coming out of the walls, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God, man. He killed me, man. Not today. <laughs> the blood. Oh, it's a burst fire weapon. What is this? Put it away. Yeah, donations. I love how Crystal deleted my message. Yeah. Where I shared your video to let them know what we need in the game, lol. Wait, deleted? Where did you share it? Crystal deletes things. Yeah! Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Give me the mods where I can look like a Z fighter. I almost died to that, man. This level is not joking. This world tier is fucking me up. I do not have the gear to compensate. Y'all still coming? God damn. Pack it in. Pack this shit in. This is not cool. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What do we have here? Some bonds? Why don't I just equip those bonds? <laughs> There's still more of them, sweet God. You shouldn't have done This isn't even doing anything to you people. The, my abilities are unreal. They should be unfathomable. 
You shouldn't be able to understand this. You better be the last one, bitch. Podcast game. No. I like this helmet. Look at it. That's a cool helmet. That's a cool fucking helmet. All right, cool. What I'm going to do is um, just quickly assess. This makes my gravity leap better. This makes my ground crush better. Give me an armor boost for earthquake. Cool. Is this what I just put on? Yeah, some other bullshit pants on. Oh, spike restoration. I don't even have those abilities yet. So this will make it grants you 447 points of armor each time. No, for each enemy. What? The effect lasts for eight seconds and stacks up to 10 times. You're telling me I could have 10 times 447 every time I hit eight dudes with that? That's insane. I got the first over thousand piece that I've ever seen. Oh man. So you guys are good? You guys are having a good day? I'm sorry that, you know, Gajil saw his posts deleted if it really happened or if, you know. I'm sure they just put everybody on a block list so that a lot of their stuff doesn't appear up high. But when you do that, it means that, you know, the people who actually have anything to say about this game end up being put on a list and like bruh they're going about it all wrong they're killing their own community and it's very 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 fun to watch you know i'm chronicling this in a way that uh you know dude they can delete this channel if they want it's still going to be available and people are still going to be able to find it and that's what matters um i wish him the best but this is somehow worse get the fuck out of here Yo, I'm going to go fail in trying to kick the ass of that one boss out there. Because World Tier 9 is somewhere I clearly don't belong right now. And like I said to anybody who maybe watches or plays a little bit of um, Outriders, I'm nowhere in the story. We're almost back to your camp. But what I'm doing is just oh, like trying to level myself up by playing the same shit. Which is something the game allows you to do. You can just jump back to a part of the story mode and play it over and over and over and level up. I keep forgetting this gun is ass because I don't do the burst rifle shit. So you're gonna need to give me a, oh, here it comes, it, it begins. No, please don't make me bleed, Boo! Boo! God damn. Uh, let's kite some enemies. Hey guys, let's form a Kyle train. People all over the world, join in. It's a Kyle train. Suck my balls, Kame, Kame. Wait, okay. Boom shakalaka. Come on, dudes. Keep it coming, keep it coming, yeah, damn, yeah. Line it up, line it the fuck up. Yes. Not this day, children. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it coming. That's oh, that's a spicy meatball. Where did you come from? I didn't see you. You made it to the front of the queue. Get a load of this guy. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, I'm surrounded. Oh shit! <laughs> yes, you like it? Yes. You're gonna want to run around and probably uh. You know what I love in this game? You can fucking reload while you're running. That's what's up. Other games would ask you to unlock an ability like that. Come on. Show me your moves! Hey, that green one is hurting me. I like that I can auto loot. Y'all playing around? Why are you doing so much damage to me? This isn't right! I am the Prince of All Saiyans! Damn you, Kakarot! Oh my god, I'm so weak! I am so weak! I am so weak! I'm gonna get my shit! 
fucking packed in. Yo, it hurts to think about. That boss is gonna fuck me up. Just really weak. Here we go. Oh no. I should have used the thing that makes me more, like, powerful. Oh god, look at me chiseling away at him. Yo, we fucked up. Yo. You on fire? Can you burn? Do you bleed? <laughs> Jesus. Chill, bro. Damn. Guys, please. Please, no. 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 You can't do this to me. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. He's fast. I'm bleeding. This isn't good. I hate you all so much. I hate you all so much. This isn't even about you people. I'm making it about you people. Kill that one guy in the back. Stop. 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 This is about him. Stop. This is about that guy. Stop. Okay, yeah. Keep slowly stalling. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Game's running pretty good now. I'm pretty excited. <sighs> okay, you know, I suddenly have to go. Kyle, you'll only regenerate health if you destroy people. No! <laughs> okay, hold on. Just hold it. Stop the bullshit. The gun's weak. It's not my fault. It's not you. Yeah! What the fuck? You staggered me out of the dodge roll. You got me fucked up. Down! <laughs> no! No, 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 none of my abilities are charged, you see? Just let me reheal. Just let me get to hell. Damn, baby. Is this world tier more than I could handle? My abilities are recharged, swine. Beholding. Killing enemies for more health. And finishing you. Whoa, did you just blow up that? Yeah, I didn't die. That had nothing to do with that. Hey, look how far I can loot shit. Now, let me kill this guy first. Okay, you're dead. You know, nobody will sing, you know, songs of... <laughs> Nobody's going to sing songs, I'm sorry. Alright, look. Look how far that loot is out there. And I can press a button and auto-loot that. Watch this. Oh my god, I looted it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was fucking all the way over there and I just looted it like it was nothing. Jesus Christ. Hmm. You know, that didn't really do anything to my world here. Which is even scarier. What do we have here? A better jacket? Why don't we put that on right now? Bitch. Now I look pretty lame still as well. Should it be this dark? It feels dark. Feels dark, bro. Meh. Do the thing. How do you not know how to emote? Kyle probably used steroids. No. Hmm. Well. Yep, clipping right through that uh that bar. I didn't know I have fucking kitty pride from the X-Men powers. Yeah. True Silver Wolf says Kyle sounded like a half-life scientist when he said no. <laughs> Trying to decide what colors for her hair, Linda. As long as Linda shows a bunch of those pictures of the before and after because most girls are just going to end up skittling their hair. You know? I'm always curious as to why Linda does it. It's, it's fun, you know? And it'll be fun and a new thing. But, you know, some girls are just exclusively looking for attention when they dye their hair because they will not. They will not have people pass over them when they go out because they need to be who everybody looks at. Ugh. This will make me feel different. And every week they dye their hair and just damage it. Holy shit. That's got to be fucking up your hair. Hmm. I've been doing this over and over. For a good amount of time. I should pass that bridge. But sometimes. Bridges are what we cross when we come to it. And I can't come to a bridge. You see any breasts on that bridge? What the fuck? It's an inanimate structure. And I can understand that some people may have what we might refer to as a uh, a boner for the architectural, you know, like the engineering of it all. You know, it is a feat of human engineering 
the, the you, we see we need to get across something but we do not have a way to do so so we are now going to construct we're going to craft a bridge not just any bridge not just a bucket of shit but something that will stand the test of time you know i've played this a bunch of times and i didn't realize there was some sort of tower that i could come up to over here is there something inside of it there better be hold to collect what what do we have here what do we have here well what's with that delivery you know, I thought there'd be you could go in there and there'd be like, oh, there's another fucking chest up here. So there has been a joke. Can you imagine if that like fell outside of where I was able to use it? And it's it's hands. That's better than what I have right now. These hands. You're not supposed to just be auto equipping shit without looking at it. So you should go in there. Do you have better shoes? No. This is the best chest that you're wearing. Good for you. The chest allows for golem. When the skill is activated, its duration is increased by two seconds with each of enemy killed with each of enemy. You're all right, boy. You probably should put Golem back on and not Tremor. K.O. Ken isn't really helping you the way that Tremor used to. And I do like becoming rock hard, ladies. Oh my God, what have you done? Gentlemen, look how hard you've made it. Up, oh, up, oh, interrupted, D canceled. I can't believe you. You said you said the wrong thing, and now it's it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Sorry. Hmm. What have you done? <laughs> Super Jaden Thirty Two says, "What's up? What's up with you? Hope you're having a sexy and fantastic day." Everybody, I need you to um start um. Sending me spooky, scary stories. You can Snapchat it to me, C-Y-A-E-L. You can drop it in the Discord if you have that and you're fine with joining that. You can even leave it as a long-ass comment on a, on a video if you want to. Because it'll get to me and I will include it in whatever you may want. I just don't want to read a bunch of no-sleeps because, you know, people will get bent out of shape even though... You know, I could make it transformative, I could do a whole thing of it, I could choose a collection or something like that. But I just want to make some spooky stuff that people can go to sleep to, because you deserve that. But it's about what people are specifically looking for. I don't want to put effort into something that people might not appreciate. Hey, I should just do all of that again, like I have been doing. Because I do not give a fuck. Wait, one more time. Look and make sure all these weapons are... Because I'm finding better weapons. But some of them are, are they're fucking rifles and shit. What am I supposed to do with that for right now? I can't use that. Not when there's a horde coming. So let's go back, return to lobby. Oh, what is Sapphire saying? Okay. For a long time, I refused to dye my hair because I love my natural hair color. People always thought I dyed it. Um, LOL. Well, you girls are wild, you know. All of the girls that I knew that would dye their hair were like crazy into plants and f had rooms where they were basically trying to make it like a big... What do they call that name? What do they call that room? Um, Not room, but like a... Is it a... When you have a lizard in a tank, it's called a vivarium. But some of the tanks that people make, they're just plants in there. And I think they seal the, the tank so that it becomes almost like an ecosystem or some shit like that where it's just plants in there. What do you call that? I'm not sure what the name for that is, but if you know it, then you can uh, let us all know. And I'd appreciate it. Mm. Mm. Did I do what I thought I did? I guess we'll know when it loads in. What's with the red aesthetic? Is that deliberate? Hmm. It's a terrarium. Thank you, True Silver Wolf. Sapphire says, but the current terms and conditions of my recent mental bullshit headache require that I finally just dye my hair and stop making it a huge deal. Mental bullshit, huh? Girl, you sound like you got a bag of problems. But I'm sure you'll find the right person to help you carry that if you haven't already. And then you can just, you know, flex on everybody else who doesn't have that person in their face with a can of mace. Make them cry all over the place. Linda says, James Bong, what? James Bong said, 
Come on, bitch, let's hear you tear into these guys, or are they speaking the truth? Tear into which guys, bro? The Outriders guys? What? Are, speaking the truth about what? Tear into who about what? About why, you know? Outriders was having a lot of server issues before, which of course was making it so that people just straight up couldn't play the game. That's a big problem, bruh. It's a dope-ass game, got a lot of shit in it, and definitely gonna give people the boner that they're looking for as it pertains to a treadmill to increase the number with but um server issues meant that people just couldn't play and that's not cute but i don't know who he's talking about who what's there to, to, to tear into meh, 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 meh. everybody line it up here everybody line up right over right over here so we can uh, now i go up in the air and i come down uh, the blood let the bodies hit the... Nothing wrong with me. Nothing wrong with me. Why are you... Why are you almost killing me? Don't you see I'm rock hard on that ass? Oh, God. Damn. You guys are doing way too much damage. And I'm in my rock form, don't you know? How can you smell what I'm cooking in this form? Damn! And they can smell what I'm cooking? You, you're not supposed to be able to smell what the rock is kicking, yeah. Come here, man. Yeah. Come Stab it. Stab it. Get some help. <laughs> How long does that form last? Seems like it lasted a long time. Come here, baby. Buh. This game will not let me dodge roll through people. That's an interesting aspect there. How do you like it? You like seeing your friends get blown up, bitch? Whoa, that's a lot of things that I just auto-looted. It must have... What the fuck? I thought it was over. It's not over? Rock form! Rock form! Suck my balls. Now, I must have picked up some sort of auto rifle, so let's take a look while I'm still hard. Oh, damn. You can't be referring it to like that. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's an automatic shotgun, baby. This is an assault rifle that's simply better than what you're using. And the shotgun is not bad either. Let's go ahead and rank all of this by, I guess, damage output and start deleting things that, you know, use the mouse to to do this because it's faster. Man, you're really about to start deleting some legendaries, but if they're trash because you now have better greens, what can you do? Let's go ahead and start deleting a bunch of things. These. I don't know why I always want to have one thing left over. Okay, let's delete that. This, that, this. And delete it all. Thank you for coming. 472, that is a that is one over 471. Pretty hardcore. This seems to enhance something called Boulder Dash, an ability that I do not have yet. And this, at the very least, makes Gravity Leap inflict bleed on enemies damaged by the skill. You know, I'm not sure that I look sexy yet. What's that all about? Let me look good, damn it. <laughs> hmm? Is this new? But is it better? Nah, I'm, I'm kind of crazy about the skull one. Got a lot of dumbass emotes. Oh, sweet God. What is this one? Please show me the... This is a slower version of the other one. What the fuck? Y'all lazy. Come on. Mm-mm. You've got multiple of these flex ones? What is happening? Why would you put emotes on one dude? This this feels like they put emotes on one guy and were like, hey man, think up some emotes. Don't do that. 
this has already been done. Just go to another game that's already done emotes and steal half of them, bro. Because the ideas are going to be better than this shit. Again, we're not paying for the emotes, I guess. But give us a reason to equip any of these. <laughs> You're killing me. Spaznot says, what is this game? This is called Outriders. It's a game where you pick a bunch of different classes. I think there's four classes right now. You do your thing. Um, wait a minute. Is the debt is as high in gram fix as I'm wanting it to be? I turned down a bunch of the settings because, like, I'm not going to be noticing them whizzing by at a thousand miles an hour. Whatever. <laughs> this game is not running well either because the de the demo was running fantastic and they just changed a shitload of settings when it launched and that's funny. But I do love a game like this. It's kind of like a fusion of Mass Effect and... uh. What other game are you thinking about, Kyle? Gears of War. Not that there's a lot of cover-based shooting. The cover is for the enemy. Outrider, we're almost back to your camp. And this is the last time I'm going to do this on stream. Sorry, I just wanted to include you in a little bit of my mindless grinding that I do because I'm amused by it. Hmm. Let's see if this weapon is now good enough to kick your ass and it feels a little bit better. It's not the greatest, but it'll do. You all inflict a status now. Like, I am properly bleeding because of you swine. I'm really trying to kite y'all around. So come, come, stack up. Don't stop me, okay? I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now if you want to have a good time. Just give me a call. Don't stop me. Yes, I'm having a good time. Don't want to stop at all. You were on the wrong side, buddy. Come on. Damn, you really. You're. You're. Uh, who's the tank? Me or you, mother? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Mm, mother, no. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Auto loot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Run away. Just kidding. Running away was never part of the plan, bitch. You thought that I was gone, but you the one. So long, bitch. Save a clip of that. Oh, oh, what the fuck? We, we can do it. But now I am rock hard and I will not. Okay. And I will not back down for. Okay. Gravity leap. Fuck it. Jesus. You guys are, you guys are powerful. So powerful. Dirty monkers. <laughs> fuck you. It's time. It's time to show them the true meaning of war. I will un unleash. The power of the chosen one. Come on, hold on, hold on now. Hold, wait a minute now. Hold on now. You don't like that? You fucking like that, stupid little monsters? It's like staggering them. I'm supposed to be the healthiest man, the healthiest boy. Oh, for the love of God, you guys are really taking some of this. You tank and the damage. I want it to be the tank. I wanted it to be me. Every little thing I do. Never seems enough for you. You, you don't want to lose it again. You don't want to lose it again. But here comes that boss. But it's going to be May. Damn it. Come to me. I will show you. You know, this is... This is lightly massaging you. Let's go ahead and become a rock man. And now I'm going to pull out this shotgun and just try to pump you with a little bit of the love. People killing, people dying, children hurting, you hear them crying, watch me reload my shotgun, fucking pump you full of fun, taking, taking, taking damage, running away to charge my shit, I am gonna fucking get so wrecked. Oh shit, god damn, oh damn baby. You've got me fucked, you monster. Maybe I am a monster. I would not know if I was rock hard. Stop, stop, stop. I have a limit to what I will take, damn it. You like it? You like that? Gravity leak? You like it. Sir, 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 please. Please. Look, this is actually becoming challenging and I'm terrified. 
You know, the world's just scaling with you. It's like, oh, oh, you think you're good? Well, I'm out this. I'm like, okay. But what I do love as well is that you can just be like, look, this is too hard. I'm going to turn the world down. I'm going to turn the whole world down. You turn the whole world down. You turn the whole world down? I'm kidding. Shut up. <laughs> you're so awful. Oh, you can turn the whole world down? It is cold as hell um, in Florida right now. So that's pretty cool where I am anyway. You can turn the whole world down. The whole world down. If you don't stop giving me green. Well, the green is better than what you're wearing right now. Shachimaru. Let's take a look in there. You putting on a green. The green doesn't have the mod. 457. That's not that much better. So put. But this is enhancing the bullet thing that you don't even use. Cool. Cool. And you're not fighting uh, dudes that take or shoot. Not while you're grinding. 545 and it enhances tremor i receive one more explosion like i give a shit like i give one shit so guys sorry i just wanted to show you what i'm doing until i'm able to play because the thing is i truly should have gotten this on playstation 5 you know as rude as it is to say even if i would have been dealing with dramatically less visual you know, quality or whatever the hell you want to call it. At the end of the day, what is this doing? Is this enhancing my life? Being able to look down at mud and go, oh, yeah, when I back up and I can see my footprints in the blood. In the blood. This is dirt or mud or whatever. Mud, mud, blood. Oh, God. Now you're saying Harry Potter slurs. It's, it's, is it worth it? You know, when I can't even, I got to wait for crossplay to work. That's the bullshit of it all. Eh. Can you, how does, how does the, I try to flick it and that doesn't seem to, okay. And then it faces the direction that, you know, I'm looking. You clip through the ground a little bit there. Like that's not really meant for you to sit on like that. Am I sitting in the water now? Feet are clipping through the goddamn concrete slab. You dirty motherfucker. I mean, look, I, I guess, I guess you can only ask so much. The game does, wait, was that a little bit of shit to harvest? And you're damn right it was gonna be making all the minecraft pickaxes later nova prime says should i downtown outriders from downtown boom shakalaka which is a reference to uh nba jam old school game um on sega genesis should you download it you know if you have game pass on xbox bitch it's 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 already it's it's yours you own it if you have game pass you can just download that thing this game is very fun you know you can pick one of four different classes, and each of these classes have their own corny little abilities. You've seen me messing with the little, the gravity leap, and then I come down and I crash on the enemies, and I'm doing the ground pound, sending all that bullshit. I become a rock man. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? But um, there are other heroes with different skills. You can unlock eight in total. They all have their different abilities, man. Very, very interesting stuff. Let me let me fuck with the, the uh, bullet stoppy one. I like that one a lot. Or when they're shooting you and you're just like, <laughs> I am Magneto. And then you stop the bullets. And then you can send them back at them after you stop all the bullets coming at you. There's no bullets right now, but you have to use your imagination. You use your imagination. And then you stop it. You send the bullets back. You know what I'm talking about? But um, there are different classes. The Technomancer has like a, you know, a little turret that he's all about specializing. Um, there's a class called the Trickster that has like time manipulation shit. You can throw, you can put like a bubble out that makes everything inside the bubble slow time, shit like that. Um, and then there's one class that's just, you know, he's Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four. He just lights everything on fire and he's crazy about fire and fire, fire, fire. That's the guy. But there's also a big, big, big gear game that we're in the midst of right now that I'm not going to be seeing anything of. Until I properly max out my class. You got some interesting trees that allow for specialization. And the way of making, you know, varied and uh, different builds for your douche. You know, usually I would imagine that they boil down to, do you want to specialize in your abilities or your gunplay? Do you want to make yourself very tanky or, you know, I don't know. You know, for me it's a tank. Maybe for the fire guy, it's all abilities, you know, then you have your gunplay and maybe there's like ability cooldown shit in here. And then you have stuff that, um, that enhances like weapon damage, 
you want to focus on that so you can focus all you can go all in on your abilities I, I imagine you can go all in on your weapons or you can go all in on like a specific play style and you can also just make it go in whatever direction you don't have to follow a certain line but you know Kyle focus about focus on getting to the end of one tree to feel like I have that uh special ability but nope any good looter boy knows that until you max out your punk ass level, you're not even going to be getting shit worth talking about. And I am only at level 15 and level 30 is the maximum. I should just play through the campaign, but I don't really want to spoil that for myself before Dia is ready to jump in with me and the crossplay needs to be fixed. This ground seems so weird. really hear the ambient noise this is an ugly area too i can't wait to get uh, pretty places because i see people playing in some really pretty areas but um you know you you trust me i'm going to be playing this on stream when that time comes and we'll be able to share that together you know so i love you take it easy um you know i will see you soon Maybe by then I'll look less like a space marine and more like a badass, you know, I'll have some like skulls and bones on me. That's what I want. That's what we all want. We all just want to be wearing the skeletons of the, the people that we've killed, but it's socially unacceptable. So we'll do it in a, in, a, in a digital world. Okay. Digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. Change into digital champions to save the digital world. That's the kind of guy that I am. Yes, I love Pokemon. But I can enjoy Digimon too. It doesn't need to be an either or situation. What kind of world are you living in? Come on. I love you. I'll see you later. Don't even bring up Avengers Nova Prime. The worst part about Avengers is that they could have looked at any comic book and come up with eight abilities for a, you know, fuck a comic book. What are you saying, Kyle? They could have looked at any other Avengers game. And picked eight abilities from them and then allowed us to focus on three abilities. That's what this game does. Imagine if if you could have multiple people playing the same class. And because we can all make different fucking builds, essentially, both of those Iron Men would play different. You know, that's the way that it should be. But instead, this game is on that bullshit. Avengers, that is. And we got to release it. It's not the game that it could have been and never will be. And anybody smoking that grass. Wait a minute. What's foliage on? Meh, meh. Does foliage get crazier if I enhance it? Or does it get weirder? Let me see here. Advanced display. Foliage is on medium. Okay, I really wanted this to go fast. Does it get denser? It does not get denser. What does foliage do? Just makes it grassier? What the fuck is that? I don't care about that. I thought that it would like make make it seem like there was more. But foliage no ultra. I don't care. I want this to run so smooth. And it hasn't worked out all its kinks. Because I was running everything on ultra in the demo. And the demo was fantastic, dude. And this is... It's running a little bit jankier to the point where, like I said, even the steam, the steam notifications, the pop-ups, they make everything wild. And this is going to be a hectic game when I get other people into it. When I do get other people into it. I love you all. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Have a great night. Hope you enjoyed the list. A special thanks to all of you for liking. But of course, specifically, a thanks to the chase. A thanks to the Gajil. A thanks for hitting me right in the feels. Don't let anyone tell you that you're anything other than special. Because I can't even handle you. And don't know how best to repay you for being the way that you are. Later. <laughs> All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars. Breaks them. And DS Norris.